Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you a easy and mostly used formula in Microsoft Excel, which is SUM. In this video, I will teach you a simple SUM formula, a bit complicated, and how to use multiple SUM formulas in one cell. So let's get started. So as you can see, we have preset of data which we will use. We have client name and sales value. Here we will write our formula. In the same way, we will write is equals to and then sum sum and you can press tab or start small bracket. As you can see, formula is indicating and asking for numbers. So you can select all the numbers which you want to add up. So we will directly select data from here till here and then press enter. You can see we got it and you can confirm this by selecting this all as many of you might know you can check it here anytime you will select numbers it will tell you the sum count and average so as you can see the sum is 283,000 and which we have here right so this means our formula is working perfectly let's move to a bit complicated one we have client name, sales value, and the status. Let's say now you have data, but you have to exclude some figures. As you can see, return values. So you have made sale, and some of those were returned. So obviously, if you are calculating the total sales value, then you have to remove those returned items or return values. So how can you do it? So there are few ways you can do it. The first one is is equals to then tab and you will select the data from here but till here and then you will press control if you don't want to lose the selected area so press control and then select from here till here and you can close the bracket and enter and you can confirm it by selecting it till here then in the same way press control and then select from here as you can see it here you got it but it is not a professional way to do it so better way will be click here is equals to sum sum and then tap and select all the data you will select all the sales you made and then break it over then minus you can now simply select returned values you selected this and then minus again and then the other value and then press enter reason why this is better because here you can clearly see the values which are excluded and if you have a large amount of data you will get stuck in this formula because you have to select exact those sales and this formula looks confusing on the other hand you if you select this you can clearly see this has summed up everything and then these sales are excluded so now let's move to the third part of the video which is multiple sum now you can see we have two different set of data and let's say we have this for june sales and this is for July sales and then you, you can use sum here is equals to sum sum and select the data here and enter you can simply copy it by simply pressing control C here you can paste it by control V you can see we got the numbers and now you are looking for total sales in one sale so let's say now you want total sales and this one sale so you can do it by two ways is equals to sum sum then tab you can select this all and then comma and then select this as well and enter you got it but the professional way to do it is 
by pressing is equals to sum sum and then tab you can select this data and then bracket all and then plus then again sum and you now you can select this bracket over and enter both works in the same way but why this is better because if you select this because you can clearly see what is included in this sale and if we assume right side is sales return then you cannot fix it here in this formula unless you use minus after the formula which you will use here you can simply convert this plus sign into minus and you will get it and the other user can clearly see what this formula includes if you have multiple formulas under one sale then using proper formulas will be helpful for others i hope this simple formula is clear now if you like this video please hit like Comment down your questions, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.